This nugget's about fossil evidence. In this nugget, we're going to go back over how fossils are formed. And then we're going to look at what information they give us and how that helps us understand what living things were like millions of years ago. The key words we'll use include fossil, decay, fossil record and evolution. Fossil formation Can you remember what a fossil is? Here are some examples. Fossils are the shapes or remains of animals or plants that lived a very, very long time ago. These shapes or remains are found in rock and are dug up thousands to millions of years after they've formed. Can you remember the different stages that happen in order for a fossil to form? First of all, an organism, like a fish, will die and fall to the bottom of a lake or river along with sand and mud. As the sand and mud piles on top of the fish, the soft parts of the body, so the flesh and the organs, will start to decay or rot away, leaving only the hard parts, like the shell or skeleton, to be further covered by mud and sand. As it is further covered, it gets buried deep below ground level. And over millions of years, the hard parts of the body that remain are protected. And you get the imprint of the shape of the fish. This is the fossil. The fossil can be dug up millions of years later and discovered by humans. It can be added to all the other fossils that have been found as part of a fossil record. Information from fossils. So when we're digging up fossils, we'll be digging them up from different layers of rock. The layer of rock that they've come from will tell us something about how old the fossil is, or how long ago the organism lived on Earth. So the further down the rock layers, the older the fossils are. Fossils in the same layer of rock will be roughly the same age. So here we can see that this fossil comes will be the oldest. This one will have been around more recently as it is from a higher layer of rock towards the ground. Paleontologists are people that study what lived a long time ago. So paleontologists dig up fossils and use them to find out about animals and plants that lived millions of years ago. They collect all these fossils as part of a fossil record by looking at lots of fossils, scientists have discovered that life a long time ago was very different to the living things we have today. For example, from fossils, we can make a reconstruction of what an organism would have looked like. Because fossils only show us the hard parts, we have to reconstruct the soft parts of the organism into a model. So millions of years ago, the ancestors of elephants looked a bit like this. Whereas today, they look like this. So we can see that there are particular differences that have arisen over time. Having evidence that things have changed over time supports the idea of evolution. How evolution actually happens was most famously suggested by Charles Darwin, who needed lots of fossil evidence to persuade people that evolution had occurred. Summary in summary, fossils are formed under layers of rocks from the remains of the hard parts of dead living things. Fossils tell us what animals and plants from millions of years ago looked like, and fossils provide support for the idea of evolution. The key words were fossil, the preserved remains or traces of an animal or plant that lived many years ago, decay, the rotting of a dead living thing, which will usually be the soft parts of the organism, fossil record, all the information and fossils that we've gathered, and evolution, the changing of living things over time.